to know how much he really loves you and is deeply sorry for throwing up on your brand new dress last night. So what do you say, Caroline? Will you forgive him? He'll even go halves on the dry cleaners. Anyway, he wants me to play your favourite song. Hey. My brownie points must be off the scale by now. Ooh, what's this I found? Ah, oh, chook, chook, chook. <laughs> no. I've never tried this before, you know, thinking of others, especially my own sister. It's not bad, I guess. All right. Ooh, ah, mmm, mmm. You want me to eat it for you as well? OK. Mm. Come on, Debs. Things will get better. What do you have things to hurry up, then? Well, you've got to help yourself. You can't just lie back and hope things will just improve. I know it hasn't been going well for you lately. You mean messing up relationships with two of the best guys I'll ever meet? Well, I wasn't going to mention Dan and Darren. You just did. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hate being on my own. Oh, it's not a crime. The whole world can see that there's something wrong with me, Craig. All right, Debs, it's not like you got the plague or something. Jeez. It's exactly that. No one even wants to come close. Dan, he really loved me and I blew it. And I did the exact same thing with Darren. Oh, I just love so typical. How is she? She's been better. Meaning? Can't get any worse. She can't be that bad. You want a bet? Maybe she needs to speak to a girl. Well, I'll draw the line at a sex change. Debbie, someone loves you. <laughs> oh, oh, come here. <laughs> I know. That's it. Tell me it can't get any worse. I know. Cry it all out. <laughs> when is it going to stop me? <laughs> when you can't cry anymore? It could take a very, very long time. <laughs> you don't know what I'm going through, Greg. All right. You've got a broken heart. Boo-hoo. We've all been there, right, Bex? Shut up. Some tea, shall I? Am I just the whole of Britain think that having a cup of tea cures everything? Well, if just... You've got a broken leg, have a nice cup of tea. You've cracked your head open. Why don't you have a cup of tea? Each one, spoil yourself. Oh. Ooh. Is there a stage when you get rid of the embarrassment caused by your dad? Oh, parents embarrass their kids. By begging their ex boyfriends to take their daughter back. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It was only Darren. You probably couldn't find that. Oh, no. I think it's worse. See, the problem with having two boyfriends is that you can get dumped twice. So it's only going out with Darren. It's confusing, I know. I mean, well, I've never been dumped twice in one day. Twice in one week, maybe. Actually, that was three times. Three times in one week? Mm. Junior school was hell. And that is strictly between you and me. What you? I bought this for Dan's birthday. Christmas. Oh, how romantic. I gave Darren a silver St. Christopher medal. Oh, that's a good memory thing to have of you. Yeah, except he gave it to Natalie the first chance he had. Mmm. This is very civilised, isn't it? I suppose so. Mmm, and we need to get even more civilised. Things change, people change. You need to leave the past where it belongs. Behind you. I've got to move on. That's what Dan's doing. That is a very clear message. I'd be single forever, aren't I? Oh, that's what I thought once. What, that I'd be single forever? No, that I would. I loved Alex, who, unbeknown to me, was still occasionally sleeping with the mother of his child. He finally fled to China. Then there was Adam, who moved to the States. After swearing blind, he couldn't live without me. Jamie thought another continent wasn't far enough and instead died, so at least your two were still breathing. What'd you do to them? I just love them. You see, she's all right, Debs. I'm not used to being single, you know, even the worst. Oh, I'll give it a couple of weeks. You'll have men fighting jewels for your honour. It's more than I ever did. Uh, Becca, I, um, I kind of need to ask for some female advice. What about that cow, Natalie? She's not a cow. OK. Well, I want to know what to do if I really like someone, but I don't know where I stand. Ask her. No, don't ask her, though. <laughs> As if. I'm an expert in not knowing where you stand. <laughs> Craig, Natalie, she's just using you, OK? She's just that tight. Becca? Sometimes a girl doesn't want to be too much of a sure thing, so we play hard to get. It makes you think you appreciate us more. Oh, OK, cos every bloke I know is just a pushover. Oh, I'm old and on the shelf. Oh, don't be daft. 
I'm gonna end up lonely old spinster. You're not even 20 yet. I'm gonna be old and I'll have a manky old cat. What are you gonna call it? 